Come. A boat cannot be far. Huh. Earlier, Sindri made it sound like Darlin was some sort of rebellion leader. Doesn't sound like anyone's following him. Was being the key word here, little brother. There's a building just past these rocks behind me. Maybe we should head that way. Ah, uh, those bloody mining rigs. What about them? The Skald is right to blame me for them. They were my idea. If you've got the time, they're in the bay just beyond this tunnel. I'd particularly appreciate us checking out the mining rigs in the lake to the right. You can see the smokestacks from here. But if you don't want to explore now, it looks like Derlin's place is through that open gate to the left. So, which way do we go? We could prepare more before rescuing Tyr. Up to you. Namir, are you really the one who had those rigs built? Odin wanted the dwarves under his control, and, well, I convinced him he could buy their allegiance instead of demanding it outright. A trade agreement of sorts. Think that crane still works? One of the mining rigs is here. See the smoke above us? That's where we're headed. Let's see if we can't shut it down. built forges poisoned the soil of Svartalfheim. Unable to grow their own food, they had to buy it from Asgard. Mm. If they stopped working, they'd be taking food out of their own mouths. Oh, that's clever. And awful. So see to Muspelheim. Think it might lead to that combat arena we visited years ago? What makes you say that? Wishful thinking, I guess. Going through Surtur's gauntlet, it was fun. It was training. They didn't have fun? <laughs> well, anyway. We should look for the other half of the seat. Once it's whole again, we can see where it leads. Yeah. <laughs> 
just keep coming. It's a Bergstra. Spawning a little wretch is like there's no tomorrow. For her, it will be so. <laughs> <laughs> The rings likely chock a block with materials that could help us. I'd grab whatever it spits up in the process. <laughs> The dwarves agreed to the deal with Asgard. Why do they blame you? I talked them into their own exploitation. They made their choice. Work or die is not a choice. I only made it seem so. What you just picked up there is pure Spartalfheim ore. It won't be of use in the rig anymore, but perhaps our Huldra brothers could craft something from it. Father, is it always moral to kill something that's trying to kill you? Yes. Well, there you have it, lad. How did these rigs come to be? I had them built to harvest ore for armaments. Essentially harnessing resources that would otherwise go to the dwarves. You think shutting these things down will help the dwarves become independent? I don't know, but I have to try something. Such a big bay. There's no fish. Must be because of the smoke from those mining rigs. Prepare for a fight. <laughs> First time someone's told me that, I suppose. That dragon sculpture is not bad.
So not all dwarves can do that thing Brock and Sindri do, right? Or they just walk between realms and turn up somewhere else? Indeed, that's a rare skill. I gather one carefully cultivated by some secretive dwarven guild or other. Probably for the best. Them alone doing it is disconcerting enough. one of those geysers, but huge. Maybe we could check it out later. We can see it fine from here. Amir, how many stories have you told about Odin and Thor and all the bad things they've done? Let's see how many we can remember. Seems like Father could use his memory refreshed. My memory of them requires no refreshment. They invaded our home. Yeah, but I'm talking about history. All the other people they've hurt. Let's see. Okay. There was Thalmor, the stonemason. Aye. He quarreled with his son. Went into the night to find him. Found Thor instead. And there was Thalmor's son, Primther. Who built the walls of Asgard. Enough. I we will continue later. There's another mining rig on this island, brother. Smell that smoke. Why would the dwarves agree to work for the Aesir in the first place? That's the heart of it, eh? You lied to them. I lied to them. Bet we could swing across that, uh, lift thing. Gantry. Gantry. Thanks. It's gotta be the right spot. Big barrels. I smell fuel. Bet a spark from your blades would cause quite a boom. found a high enough place to drop from.
the dwarfs didn't shut these rigs off themselves. One or two tried. The Ein Haryar made examples of them. They killed the dwarves? Couldn't you have convinced them not to? Aye. Impressive. Yeah, that looks right. <clears throat> Yeah! <laughs> 
Okay, Mimir. To the blacksmiths of Svartalfheim, the creation of a weapon was a sacred thing. But Odin just wanted as many blades as he could get, as fast as he could get them. With every stolen resource and mediocre blade, the dwarves lost a bit of themselves. survived because of you. Ah, you're not wrong there, brother. Odin would have wiped out every last dwarf in Svartalfheim. If he couldn't resist the elves, no one could. No. This is... It can't still be here. What? There's a key on this island. I need you to find it, brother. An innocent life is at stake. <laughs> life was at stake. Did Odin trap somebody here? No, lad. I did. The ground looks weak down here, father. <laughs> that gear. Looks like it would freeze. <laughs> Maybe that lift can help us get higher. Might be easier to break that ground from up there.
Vimir, is this it? Over here? That's the key we're looking for. Now we must head to that watchtower on the shore. What are you not saying? I just need you to trust me. 